Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day today. Um, today, we're gonna do a little, little Q&A moment. Um, I asked on my Instagram a couple weeks ago now if you guys had any questions you wanted me to answer. So I'm going to go through that. I, I know it's been a long time since that, okay? I, <laughs> I apologize. So let me try and find all the questions. Okay, so we're kind of just gonna go in order of what people sent me i will pop like a little a little screenshot of the question here um so this first question is your my favorite blush and my favorite eyeshadow palette honestly my favorite blush changes very often but currently my favorite blush is this dior rosy glow blush this is in the shade pink this this bad boy is expensive but i honestly really like the way it looks on the cheek and um i can see why it's raved about and plus the imprint on this is super pretty and i've i've really been liking this i will continue to use it for sure my favorite eyeshadow palette also kind of changes but not really if we're gonna go with like a neutral everyday option it's definitely this nabla side by side palette so i feel like this palette just gives me a lot of diversity in the type of neutral looks i can create so it has like the the warm tones the cool gray tones down here or this gray tone here it has some really pretty more like duochrome shades it has kind of this like olive green i feel like it's just very versatile in the looks that you can create but it's still so co cohesive that like you really can't go wrong with this and i feel like this is kind of just like my perfect everyday like neutrals palette it also has a black that i can use for liner and this these two deeper browns that i could also use for shadow liner if i choose to definitely this palette as far as neutral eyeshadow palettes go and definitely this blush currently the blush definitely changes though depending on my mood um so this question asks do you have any goals for your instagram account or youtube channel i would say not necessarily goals i'm kind of just doing this for fun because i have a love of makeup um but i'm i'm definitely not in the mindset that like hopefully this can be my full-time job i love the work that i do as a robotics engineer so just kind of like personal goals i guess i would say for my instagram account i'd love to reach 2,000 followers i think i'm currently at 1700 so i'm pretty i'm pretty close to 2000 i feel like that'd be super fun to see that and make that happen as far as my youtube channel I'm, I mean, I'm still pretty new in the game. I think I have around 85 subscribers on YouTube currently at the time I'm filming this. I think my goal for that would to be to reach 500, 500 subscribers. I feel like that's reasonable and achievable. I'm not like actively trying to reach those goals, but if it happens, it happens and that'd be pretty cool. So there are a couple questions about my cat here. Um, this one says best part about having a cat. Another question asked how many pets I have and if I think I'll have more in the future. So if you don't know, I have a cat. His name is Adam. I'll pop a picture. He is a little tuxedo cat and he is absolutely wild. I love him. He's kind of rescue cat, kind of not. So Adam was my significant other's grandma's cat who had like a horse farm so they had there was like a lot of cats on the farm um his grandma passed away during the pandemic and so when his grandma passed away his family tried to relocate a lot of the animals that they had and they thought they got all of them that were still at the farm or at the barn but yeah like they thought everything was they thought everything was fine like all of the all of the animals had a new home turns out like seven ish months later um, my significant other's mom goes back to the farm and she hears meowing coming from the barn and there's there's adam just like in the barn crying and so my significant other's mom brought the cat back back home with her and it was it was not a great situation because they already had animals and adam was very scared all the time he wasn't comfortable in the home 
So then when my significant other went home for Christmas um, that year, he brought back Adam when he came back. And so that's the story of how we got the cat. And he is just amazing. Also kind of a kind of a butthead, but what cats aren't. I would say my favorite part of owning a cat though specifically is that they everything he does kind of just makes me laugh. Like cats are so weird sometimes. <laughs> Uh, he loves like cat TV. If I put it on our on our big TV, he will like jump up onto the TV and try and like paw at it. And I just think that's so funny. Like the way he drinks water, he'll drink water from his paw. Even though we have like a, a cat fountain, he'll like scoop it up in his paw and then drink from his paw. So our floor is always wet from from him drinking water, which it's not a big deal. Um, and then we have an automatic feeder for him as well. And every time his automatic feeder goes off, he'll go from from dead sleep to jumping and eating food before the food even finishes dispensing. Just like little things like that that aren't super, super abnormal, but the way he does it is just so funny to me. But he's also kind of, he's also kind of a butthead. He slaps me um, quite a lot. I have quite, a, quite <laughs> not, not a few, but I have... I have a few scars from him, from his scratches, but you know, that's, that's love. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I only have Adam as a pet. Do I think I'll have another one? Honestly, no. At the point in my life right now, I can't picture myself having more than the one, the one animal. I just think that, especially with Adam's kind of like, background he's not super comfortable around other animals either and so yeah i don't have any plans for any new any new pets in the future i will say that i do love the animal that i have now okay so this next question says what made you want to start a youtube channel and who are your role models i wanted to start a youtube channel just, just because i thought it'd be fun I've always kind of found editing videos to be kind of fun. Not that I'm very good at it, but I don't know. I thought I could do it. I thought it'd be fun. I thought that if it ever does work out for me, that'd be great and that'd be super cool. But yeah, I don't really have like a specific reason why I started my YouTube channel. It just kind of happened, if that makes sense. I'm sorry, that's not really an answer. I guess I, I, guess I will say that I started my Instagram account because I, during the pandemic, I quickly like fell in love with makeup and was buying so much makeup and no one in my life really really follows makeup as much as I do so I kind of wanted to create a platform for myself to be able to share beauty related things that I've really been enjoying so then that's why I started my Instagram account and it kind of just extended from there so no like really set reason but it was kind of just a progression of my Instagram account. And who are my role models? Definitely my parents. I know that my parents worked really, really hard to get to where they are in their lives right now. Uh, my parents are from Vietnam. They came over after the Vietnam War. My dad was literally a boat person, so he tells me all these stories of how he he was just floating in the ocean trying to trying to make it somewhere that wasn't Vietnam, trying to escape communism. So I hear those stories and they can get really graphic and it breaks my heart that my dad had to go through that. And it also makes me really appreciate that I have never had to deal with that. I've never had to struggle in my life like that. That makes me extremely privileged and I'm I'm very proud of my parents for leaving and coming to the US and getting an education and kind of allowing me to be the person that I am now. So mainly my parents and kind of the rest of my family who has who has made that same journey, who has gotten here, who's kind of made a life for themselves here. Um so this question asks what's one thing you couldn't live without that's a hard question i feel like i feel like the answer depends right i feel like in general i i don't think i could live without companionship in general in general like i don't think i could live without my friends and family and kind of surrounding myself with people who who love me who i also love i feel like if i had my friends and family i I would be okay without everything else. 
that I have. All right, so this question asks, what is your all-time favorite makeup brand? I think for now, I would say Kosas. I think that would change as I try more products, which I'm not gonna try for a while. With the products that I have currently, I would say I've tried the most from Kosas and M Cosmetics. And I think right now my favorite would be Kosas. So this question asks, what do you do as a robotics engineer? Um, so I work for a government contractor currently. I am part of the team that develops software for autonomous vehicles for the U.S. Army. I can't really go into it that much more, but that's kind of the overview of what I do. This question asks, what's my favorite discovery of 2022? I don't know. Honestly, I think my favorite discovery of 2022 would just be my enthusiasm for making YouTube videos. Like I really didn't think I would, I would like, or not that I didn't think I would like it. Like I really didn't think that I'd ever get to this point in my life, if that makes sense. So making YouTube videos has been extremely fun for me. I've really enjoyed filming them, creating them, editing them, and posting them and seeing your reactions to everything. I think that is my favorite discovery so far. There's a ton of time before the end of the year, so I don't know. We will, that might change by the end of the year. We'll see. Okay, and this question asks, what is your next big goal? Life, account, work, any of the above? I kind of answered the account one already for my life goals, I would want to say, or I want to say that eventually I want to save up to buy a house and kind of just be self-sufficient in everything. Besides that, I don't really have any huge goals. I think eventually I want to go back to school and get in my get a master's. I currently have a bachelor's in computer engineering. So yeah, I think I maybe want to go back to school. That sounds kind of bad. Like I really don't have huge goals right now. I'm kind of just living my life, trying to live it to the fullest as much as I can during this time. I will say that I do want to travel a lot more. I would really love to go back to Vietnam. I would really love to just kind of tour all of Southeast Asia, Asia in general, Europe, even Africa, like South America. I, I really just want to travel. That's always been a thing that I have found super cool, super interesting, and with everything that happened, that just hasn't happened yet. So yeah, eventually, I guess my goal would be to be well traveled. Um, so this question asks, what sparked you starting this account? I kind of answered that already, but to like go fully in depth, I used to wear glasses, um, didn't have contacts up until, I wanna say 2019. Before that, I never really felt confident without my glasses. I have worn glasses since I was like in third grade and my parents um, didn't want me to get contacts. Just from that and from comments I've had, like when friends have seen me without glasses, they don't even recognize me. So I've always felt really self-conscious when I didn't have my glasses on. And so when I started dating my significant other, he started making me feel really confident when he saw me without my glasses. And so from gaining that confidence, I got contacts. And from, from there, I kind of just fell in love with makeup because when I had when I had glasses, I never really saw the point in makeup just because you wouldn't really be able to to see anything and my glasses kind of covered like half of my face. So switching to contacts, I got really into makeup and like I said, like I didn't really have a lot of close friends or family to kind of share my love of makeup and beauty with and so I started the account and everything kind of just came from there. Um, so this question asks, what did you want to be growing up? So I will say that when I was young, stereotypically the Asian household was kind of just like, your three options are doctor, lawyer, or engineer. And so when I was a kid, I always thought I would want to be a doctor. Like I'm gonna, I wanted to, to save lives, to help people growing up up and going into high school and all of that, I realized that I I don't have the gut for that. I just don't. In my freshman year of high school, we had a programming course and that was kind of my first introduction into engineering in general. Like I, I was always pretty good at math. I was always a relatively smart kid doing all of those like accelerated programs and all of that. When I, when I got to high school and really got my first introduction into programming that kind of kickstarted everything. I joined my school's robotics team and that was a ton of fun and I, lo I loved 
being on that team at the time and kind of just, I don't know, exploring engineering more. When I went to college, I decided to study computer science, which turned into computer engineering. Yeah, so when I was when I was a kid, I wanted to be a doctor and that did not happen. <laughs> But it was it was kind of always those three things like it, those were kind of the only options in my head when I was growing up That was the last question So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any more questions Leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them. I hope this wasn't too rambly or too confusing um, I, <laughs> I know I can kind of go off on tangents sometimes, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye